As we continue to read the book of Revelation together, there's so much to learn about what heaven looks like and sounds like. Chapter 14 begins with Jesus standing on Mount Zion, surrounded with 144,000 people who have his name and his father's name written on their foreheads. They belong to the Lord. Then there's a sound from heaven, and it's loud like the roar of the ocean or rumbling of thunder. But it's also sweet like the sound of many harps playing in unison. And the people start to sing what John called a wonderful new song in front of the throne of God. Worship is unswerving in the landscape of heaven. But in verse 6, we see the first of three angels who bring with them proclamations of judgment. The first angel carries the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ to every nation, tribe, language, and people. God gives yet another opportunity for all mankind to be saved. Fear God, he says. Give glory to him, for the time has come when he will sit as judge. The second angel follows, saying, Babylon is fallen, that great city is fallen. Then comes the third angel's warning. Anyone who worships the beast and his statue, or accepts his mark on the forehead or on the hand, must drink the wine of God's anger. Three warnings of impending judgment that leave me with the question, what's this all mean? Well. John explains, this means that God's holy people must endure persecution patiently, obeying his commands and maintaining their faith in Jesus. As the prophetic clock winds down and we eagerly await for the soon return of our Savior and King, we still have work to do. What's that? We endure persecution patiently, we obey his commands, and we maintain our faith in Jesus. Even when everything else around us begins to fall apart, and it will, God will continue to use his people, you and I, to reach a lost and fallen world. So as we walk out this day together, let's encourage one another to patiently endure the hardships of this life, to read and be obedient to the word of God, and to spur each other on by demonstrating this thing we call faith, our trust in Jesus Christ.